It happened in Singapore but a short while ago. What we know of Singapore today is to be found in this morning's papers. Its story unfolding while the evening editions go to press. Every 24 hours we watch its history in a series of changing newspaper headlines. These are Singapore's yesterdays, when with light heart we prepared for the unpredictable today. When the Japanese war first came out of the skies, Chinese and Malays calmly set to work digging shelters and trenches for protection against blast and splinters. A month ago, it was a common sight to see men of the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders preparing for battle in the Malay Peninsula. Now the island fortress itself is their battleground. The words of our Commander-in-Chief in the Southwest Pacific, General Sir Archibald Wavell, here seen among his men, are still fresh in our minds. Our task, he said, is to gain time for the great reinforcements which we and our American allies are sending. We have now reached an area where we cannot be constantly outflanked and where the enemy cannot exploit his superior mobility. Our aerial strength or weakness in the Far East is such that to be optimistic is to invite rebuff and to be skeptical call for sharp criticism. The people who do know how to set about the Japs are the men behind the planes, behind the tanks, behind the guns.